Baseless U Pen got us another video, and I think he changed the title because now it says Class of the Elite Season 3. Dot, dot, dot. But before I saw this, I saw I saw the episode being like, What the fuck was this episode? Let's see what he has to say. So, Classroom of the Elite Season 3, yeah. as of the recording of this video, we're currently nine episodes deep into this season and done with volume 10, which okay. is the class word special exam. Arguably the most simple special exam so far, but the best. Yet it's also the one which has the highest stakes we've seen. It also happens to be my third favorite, Classroom of the Elite volume out of the 26 plus volumes which are currently out. So naturally, I was really looking forward to seeing this volume adapted. Was he mad? Though my expectations were quite low to be honest. And that's why I wanna take some time to talk about how I personally feel about this volume 10 adaptation and just season 3 in general as a massive fan. I'm gonna just assume he let him cook, let him cook, but I'm just gonna assume Basis Yu Pen does not is not happy about the adaptation. Now as an anime only, I kinda like it. But like I don't know what I'm missing, you know? I don't know what I'm missing. A lot of people are saying rip T-Rex scene. The T-Rex scene I guess just isn't happening. I, I think it was some kind of like dick measuring contest. Maybe we can watch some light novel synopsis about it, but I don't know. I, I guess I guess he's upset. Did Studio Lurch cook during these past few episodes or did they burn down the whole kitchen? Did, did they burn it? I don't know. Spoiler alert, this video is probably going to be quite negative. So you should probably... <laughs> I'm here to hate. I'm here. To, I am here to hate with you, baseless you. Pen. Come on, shit on Hirata. Come on. Click off if you're not in. No, I'm ready. I'm With ready. That out of the way, though. Let's not waste any more time and dive into it. All right. First up, let's talk about one of the most important things for an anime, and that is the animation. And classroom of the elite is. To the animation was dog shit. The last couple episodes, I did notice a drastic like lower quality in animation but again i i always go back to the same you know defense which i don't really need to play defense for studio lurch but if any anime i want a shitty animation and not really care about it it's this anime because this anime there's no crazy fight scenes happening all the time it is a story based on character dialogue they just sit there and they talk on fucking stairways most all the conversations just happens on fucking stairways, dude. I think the stairs are fucking better animated. They the sunset lighting and the stairs are better animated than pseudo a couple of times. Put it bluntly, one of the worst. Look at this. What is what happened to you? What is your face? It doesn't matter, right? It's not gonna be like, oh, I'm dropping this show now. But it's like, damn, the budget just got sucked dry. Anime that stems from a popular IP. Like it's genuinely baffling that the average slice of life and isekai Which anime is this? Which which one is this? Isekai? Is it another isekai we gotta check out? ...anime that we get every single season look better than one of the most popular and sold light novel of all Damn! Wait wait, apparently this list isn't complete accurate so take it with a grain of salt So this is a list of best selling light novels and Class of the Elite is basically top 4 I've never heard of Bakata's Kino's... I have heard of Kino's Journey, but damn, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, whenever anyone criticizes the animation, some people always talk about mm. how Classroom of the Elite doesn't need good animation. Oh, he called me out! <laughs> Baseless, you pen call me out and hold up! Wait, let me defend myself. Let me defend myself. I say that because it doesn't. But, but I always... End that statement with what I want it to be better. Absolutely, right? Now, again, I'm not going to drop the show because the animation's bad. But if the animation was better, of course. Who wouldn't want that, right? And I genuinely believe these people are clowns. It's precisely because Classroom of the Elite doesn't need Sakuga moments like Shonen anime. But like, but like, what do you care about the animation in the anime though, right? Right? Like Demon Slayer. That is an anime where you need animation to carry you, right? If you don't have animation in Demon Slayer, you're fucked. There is no story, right? Jujutsu Kaisen, if you don't have the animation, you're fucked, right? No amount of good storytelling can carry a shonen show that's focused around fight scenes, right? That's why I think objectively it does make sense that a show like Classroom of the Elite or any other anime, like even Snafu, for example, that we're watching right now, right? 
things that just involves dialogue and character development through these dialogues, I truly believe you don't need good animation. And that's why the light novel is so fucking good. Because it's a fucking... Di it's just... It's just essays and monologues and conversation, and that's what carries the show, right? So I'm speaking from that specific perspective on why this anime, compared to other animes, doesn't need good animation to stand out, right? I think I make a lot of sense there. That should allow it to look consistently good and maintain a certain level of quality. Instead, we ended up with an anime that yeah. doesn't even manage to have its characters on model during- But like, do you give a fuck that Sudo and EK look bad? Truly, did Sudo and EK looking bad ruin the anime episode for you? I see this one time and I think, lazy fucking animators. I guess they lost their budget. Looks fucking dumb. Move on, right? Most scenes. Baki Monogatari, Kaguya-sama, 86. Mm. All these have lots of dialogue. They are very dialogue heavy and they have good animation. And I applaud you for that. In fact, I think that's better that they have better animation, right? Right? He's making very good points. These are animes. I've never seen Bakke, but 80s and Kagura, some of them, we've seen it. These are animes that you don't need good animation. Because again, it's like Class of the Elite. Dialogue focused, right? But it does a good job doing it. And that's why we're happy with the show, right? And of course, I want Class of the Elite to be animated well. But if these animes did bad animation, I would probably say the same shit. I'd be like, you know what? Fucking sucks. But... It's not the end of the world, right? Heavy scenes like Classroom of the Elite. The difference is that because of their incredible direction, the dialogue heavy scenes feel just as dynamic as when there's action happening on screen. Compared to Classroom of the Elite, where we see panning shots of characters' faces with only their mouths moving, and if we're lucky, we get some eye twitches as well. Hmm. So many anime have shown us that I guess he's saying like the cinematography, right? The camera angle, the way that the characters don't dynamically move and they're just kind of like standing still, right? That like makes the conversation worse. I do agree. Dialogue scenes can look just as visually interesting as an action scene. But Classroom of the Elite on the other hand, you know, that's an argument I've never heard actually that dialogue scenes can be just as interesting as an action scene. If you put the proper like dynamic like movement of a character on screen when they're talking, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that for the future. Is one of the worst ways to handle a dialogue-heavy show, especially one that relies heavily on psychological themes and important character monologues. The one positive thing I can say about this volume 10 adaptation is that it doesn't look as bad as season two. That's it. That's the only good thing I can say about the. Does it? Was season two that bad? Was season two that bad? It's... Maybe my biases are kind of just like overlooking season two. The sports festival was a fucking gong show, but that, those were more skipped content. The season two was worse than season three in animation quality. I'd have to go back and check one to one. Quality of this season. And I was hoping that it would be the same for volume 11 as well. But boy oh boy how wrong I was to expect that. Episode 9, which starts volume 11, is really on par with season 2 in terms of looking shit. And that is pretty much all I have to say. There, there is a very wonky face here for Ana Koji when Skishida put his hand up. In terms of animation. Yeah, like this looks very stupid, right? Like, if you're gonna suck out the budget from EK and Sudo, at the very least, you could polish the Ana Koji scenes where it matters, right? And they have been doing that for the most part, but I did notice in this moment, like, Anakoji looked very wonky. The, the facial, what, what, I don't know what happened in this specific episode, but they really dropped the ball. Also, I have Skishiro looks good. The animation being bad is not the fault of the staff members working on it. And as much as I love to shit on Lurge, the studio isn't at fault either. It's just the people that give the budget to Lurch that's at fault, and Lurch is just doing whatever they can with, you know, the resources, the limited resources they have. Kadokawa and their practices of producing anime Okay, it's Kadokawa's fault. Just for the sake of fulfilling a quota is the reason we ended up with such a horrible adaptation that only exists for the sake of being a light novel ad. When you realize that the anime is just a tool to get you guys to go read the light novel, Feels kind of bad, huh? I think a lot of people meme about that, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's a fucking ruthless business, man. We love, we want the anime to be good, but it's like, what are you going to do? What are you, you going to do? You can't fucking change the world. You, you, an individual, a consumer can just kind of, I know what you can do. There's something we can everybody do. Stop watching it. 
straight up, stop watching Classroom of the Elite. If everybody stopped watching this show and just gave season three a shit rating and no one bought anything, I guarantee you they would make some rehauls to make sure this never happened. In fact, actually, no. Nah. That'd be the fastest way to kill the anime. It's, in fact, this is not like a new game developer where they're gonna make they're gonna make swifting changes. The only change that'll happen, actually, now that I think about it, they'll just stop making the anime. So now I guess we're just fucked, huh? It's either don't support them in hopes of changes, which will end up just canceling the anime, or continue watching it and complain, and nothing will change, huh? What do we we just lose, huh? As the consumer, you just fucking lose. We need to get a GoFundMe. We, we need a GoFundMe campaign. No, that doesn't work like that. You need to get the IP. Because I was thinking, why don't we get like a, I don't know, a fan-made fucking studio to, you know, go fund them and, you know, re reanimate Class of the Elite from the beginning. But it's like the IP, the copyright, that would not go well, huh? In instead of Class of the Elite, how about we change it to, wh what's a different name of Class of the Elite? I don't know, Class of the Superior, huh? How about, how about we have a GoFundMe for Classroom of the Superior and we can have great animation and fully fleshed out characters and instead of Suzune, you can have Harukita Suzume you can have AI on a Kugikan you can have Sadu instead of Sudo, you know? You know what I mean? We could have that Going on to the contents of Season 3 Volume 8's adaptation was genuinely so bad that we really? honestly should have completely skipped it Bad Faceless Yupen is going in on Three separate volumes right now. 10, 9, and 8. Bro has been fucking waiting to pop off. I used the extra time to flesh out the other important volumes. And even though I don't care for volume 9 in its entirety, it still has some really incredible moments. Mm -hmm. And I was completely... He did like the Ichinose moment, right? I, I, no, 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 he didn't. Because I remember there was like a huge Ichinose line against Ayano Koji in the light novel that they completely skipped, right? He read it out loud. I remember watching that video. They skipped that moment. I'm really disappointed with the way they handled the moments I was really looking forward to. Yep. I talk about that in my cut content video for episode 5. I already saw it. So Go check, check it, it out. If you're interested. And volume 10's adaptation was honestly not as bad as I was expecting, but they straight up removed some of the best parts of this volume. And Which was? And some really baffling changes. Which was? The main one that pissed me off is how they handle Hirata's character. They made him look like a bitch in the anime, huh? I heard the light novel did a much better job. They just skip on the fact that he was willing to sacrifice himself. Instead of letting every, anyone else get expelled, he would just like be the one to be expelled, right? The light novel starts with this monologue, telling the audience about his thought process and the shit he's been through. Whereas the anime just makes him look like an idiot. He does. And I shit on him. And a bunch of fucking light novel people are coming in, it's like, WHY ARE YOU SHITTING ON MY FAVORITE CHARACTER HIRATA? It's like, did you watch the episode, you fucking idiot? Did you watch the episode? Because he looks like a fucking idiot. He does. His logic makes no fucking sense. The whole thing about him being triggered because of his middle school friend fucking jumping off a building and becoming a vegetable, suddenly, he gets triggered because Yamauchi and being a bystander and getting Yamauchi expelled. That makes no fucking sense to me. You're making three fucking logical jumps to get to that point and it doesn't even make sense. And I'm like, nah, this shit's fucking dumb, dude. The class discussion scene hits so much fucking harder because we have insight as to how he feels about this entire situation. And that's one of my favorite scenes from this volume. Skipped. Plus the anime completely cuts out. Hirata apologizing to everyone and trying to sacrifice himself. But just Skipped. makes him look like a complete asshole who was dumb for trying to save Yamauchi. He himself said it. It's not just me. I'm just calling it as it is. He looks like a bitch, so I'll call him a bitch. You gonna tell me the anime Hirata was that cool last episode? No. You have your idealized version of Hirata from the fucking light novel that you just can't come to fucking terms with that that wasn't how it was delivered, right? So you could shit on the Hirata anime too and say, wait, but the light novel was so much better. Fuck the anime. End the discussion, right? I like to think that the Studio Lurch is also a huge Koenji fan. So they try to make him look super cool instead. And goddamn, he looked fucking cool. Instead of making him look like an asshole, the light novel first makes you understand how Hirata thinks and how he feels about the situation. And that's why during the class discussion scene, you feel bad about Hirata the most. And that's one of my favorite scenes in the entirety of the series. Plus the... Your favorite scene in the entirety of Classroom of the Elite is Hirata being 
humiliated and you feeling bad? Basis, you've been, what do you, what do you, uh, I, I'm, I, Hey, everybody has their own opinions, right? Everybody has their own opinions. My favorite moments are whenever Koenji does something cool, right? Mesos Yupin likes it when Hirata gets... I don't know, you start pity partying on Hirata. I don't know, I don't know what the light novel moment was. Maybe it was a really good moment, man. Maybe it was. The complete absence of Ayano Koji's inner thoughts really hurt a lot of moments this season. Like, I genuinely don't understand why they don't even adapt some extremely important lines. They've been doing this shit from season one. He just stares at the fucking camera. There's like two or three seconds of like a, a still frame zooming into Anakoji. And we're supposed to think like, what is he thinking, right? Every fucking time. In the light novel, he's actually thinking. We can hear him think out his thought process. And most of the times, these thoughts are very normal. They're very human. He's just horny. He, just, he, he thinks some dumb shit. Sometimes I, I think he's EK at times, dude. But in the anime, it's like... Silence. Complete silence. We get nothing. I guess the whole direction is to make him seem so cool and mysterious. Someone so omnipotent that you could never guess what he's thinking. Because by the time that you're even wondering what he's thinking, he's already made like 10 plans behind the scenes. And you're, you're about to get fucking shocked, right? So I do wish that Iona Koji actually had a little bit of internal monologue. You know what I mean? But it's like we never get to see that. We just see him stare blankly at a screen. While reading light novel, you get some really bombshell reveals and info drops from his inner thoughts and that being completely absent is just stupid as hell. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this season so far. <laughs> I'm Basically trash, trash everything. <laughs> I'm honestly not that hopeful for volume 11 considering how bad episode <laughs> Okay, yeah, th this scene was very wonky too, huh? This scene was very wonky too, huh? Mine was, but we'll just have to see. And depending on how well this video does, I'll probably make another video like this once- Okay, I, I want to check something. So, 3.1 thousand views. Uh, I wonder if there's a lot of haters here. You, I, I, I just want to see this, just, just to- I think a lot of his community would agree with him, right? No, they do. For this, like 3%, that's, that's a really good ratio. I think what Mr. Basis Yupin says, is objectively correct. I think the anime is dropping the ball. You can see a clear drop in animation quality. And all the stuff that he tells us, every episode, remember, every week, he tells us what's missing. And every time I hear it, I'm just like, shit, this fucking sucks. So I think he has a very good point. The only, the one thing that, it's not even a disagreement. We do agree that I wish it had better animation. I'm just saying that if there was any anime that didn't need better animation, it's Classroom of the Elite because it's not focused on fights only. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't excuse the fact that it shouldn't have better animation. And he made a very good comment about how cinematography and the way that you kind of could handle these static moments where a character just talking, right? If you had good cinematography during those moments, the dialogue scenes can be just as hype as the action scenes. And I think he's actually right about that. It is what it is. What are we going to do as the consumer, dude, huh? I don't know, but I know what you guys can do. Go over to this channel. Like his videos, sub to his channel if you haven't, and I'm looking forward to more rants on Classroom of the Elite moving forward.